almost any day. Yes, sir, Castro. I need big flipper right here. Got a police call for a container roll over here at the at the ports on Navy Way and Terminal Island. Heavy sucker. Hello. Bro, how much is the weight? 74. And when they say that, sometimes the drivers get confused and they mean the whole gross weight. Or sometimes they really mean they got 74,000 in there. It's just super heavy. So, we'll see. We'll do this one quick. I'm gonna bust out uh, the outrigger, quick status, and then uh, we'll get this baby over. Alright. Quick status, guys. It'll be a 15 minute rollover, guarantee you. Hector, set up your truck to spike and capture. We can get this thing. I don't care about that. It's not going to affect us. I know. I'm going to come right here. Let me know where. Well, you're going to spike it for me. Let me see if this guy has a... Does he have the pins? This is a Freightliner. Hector, do you have Freightliner pins? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's how we'll do it. Right here. Oh, okay. Use those. You know what? I got an idea, Hector. I'm gonna try something with your truck. Just back up to it. Then you don't win. I just, just back up right here. Oh yes, this is gonna be awesome. I got a new idea that uh, I actually got from Sean Den Ling and I got a ridiculous wealth of knowledge. And I'm gonna try something that I've never done before when it comes to catching and spiking a tractor. Going crazy looking for my remote and here it is. That's a hot one today folks. I'm gonna put uh, my outriggers out just a couple of feet on this side. Just so these truckers don't hit the turret. traffic control today that's nice guys doing a fantastic job you know what let me kill off all the the lights i don't need the spotlight ah. okay a couple minutes only let's do my setting up right here Same method. I'm gonna get my uh, my orange strap and a container sling for the catch. Keep it simple, stupid. Hector, I need you in front of it. So you're you're great right here, but get get in front of it. Get in front of it. So like, get over five feet. You're great here, but just push it over that way. So, rush, rush. There's a big oil leak right here. Yeah, I know. We'll have to use uh, quite a bit of absorbent. Yikes. From who, Albert? Yeah, you told Albert to stay over there? Well, I didn't need him before I showed up. Uh, now we do. No. Hey, Hector, you're good. Go on the other side of help Castro, please. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I don't need it. I usually have my block protectors. I'm gonna throw one up there. I get uh, not paranoid, but um, angsty. That's what they're built for. But I need uh, a strap protector. Castro, you are too slow. I got one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, we put this baby. These containers are not smooth. Rub your face against it and you'll see. A lot of corrosion, stuff like that, and rust that could it could damage you. So what I do 
Very simple, very simple solution. Bam, look at this. It takes seconds. Prolongs the life of my equipment. It's Velcro, it's very thick. Bam, bam, bam. Done. Now I feel 10 times more comfortable. 10 times. Oh, let's see how my guys are doing back here. Excellent. Let's switch this out, Castro. You don't like that? Go in the, the toolbox where you got this strap. There's a uh -huh. box right there with blue shackles that look like that. Okay. Grab two of them. I got new uh, yoke shackles. The wide body shack was specifically meant for it, for loops and slings. That box right there. Two of them, please. More new equipment. Look at these, dude. These things are built for these. That's bad, Big Oh, shoot. Yeah, put that, put, replace that one with that. Check them out. Nice. Now, while they're done with that, I, I want to say maybe 10 minutes is the lapse. I'm not sure. I'm going to set up my guy in the front. All right, I'm set up. Castro set up. I'm going to just set this up super quick. And we'll try this method. And we're done. Just need a couple of master links. Uh, Hector just needs to put his outriggers down. The spades. And then we're lifting. You ready, Castro? All right, let's go stand in the middle of the trucks. The boys ready. The boys are ready. Castro! You know what? Let me get my road cell. Hold on, Hector. Wait for us. <laughs> Remember, red cable only. Twelve sixty. See about that. Are you ready? Let's go in with the lifts. The, now, 14, 5,000, 16,000, it's spiking. Go in with the red. Keep going. Go, don't stop. 19,000 pounds of force I got on my cable. 20,000 pounds. Good job, Hector. Keep going higher. 21,000 pounds. Okay, hold it there. Well, we catch up on our... Uh, doing great. I just need to put some tension on my catch lines. Yeah. That's the camera really good. It's doing great, right? Oh yeah. A lot of lifting force, man. When Edward doing this? Hey, this is one on YouTube. I'd say he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Hold on. Don't forget to tag us if you post it! Ready? Watch my kick, watch my uh, I mean, the other one. There you go. Ready, Hector? Okay, let's go, Castro. Winch in. Perfect. It's looking good, right? Yeah. Now, eventually. Yeah, once it goes on, yeah. yeah eventually it's, it's gonna by itself, it's gonna wanna I come know. over. Yeah. Oh, uh, Castro, I'm not gonna babysit you, so come here. I'm gonna stand on this side, okay? 
I want to monitor how this swing goes. You make sure your catch is good and your lift is good. Don't, don't ever let your catch get away from you. Ready? All right, now I can stand on this side. Well, that worked pretty awesome. You see how it equalizes? So as it lifts, it's, it's one catch, one lift. Equalized with the floating snatch block. So as the weight of the tractor goes down, it's gonna automatically, like magic, even itself out. To let out with the red. Let out. Absolutely beautiful. shifted man yeah. this thing's upright and it's about to fall over are we able to cut the seal <laughs> well, yeah, who's the driver? driver are you the driver yeah. <laughs> hey driver we, we got to cut your seal oh. let the company know because this thing's leaning bad i need to know if we need to counter lean it what, what are we going to do okay yeah you're going to get it yeah. Is it on the yeah, i'm going to try something really quick before we cut the seal, I'm gonna try something. That was bad, bro. Tighten up on your uh, cables. Do that kind of do it no, no, leave it there. Now tighten up on the other one slightly. Is that bringing my bullet? No, 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 no. Not at all. You're, I need you offset. So, very slowly, very slowly, extend out. Very slowly. Good. Okay, now go in on your red. Go in on it. Go in on it. Go in on it. It's all right. Go in on it more. What's going over? Get the wheel. You gotta let out on your catch, so you have too much on your catch. We're gonna try to counter lean it right now. Yeah. There. Now go in more on your red. Go in on your red a lot. It still will. Boom up. More. 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 A little bit more. Like that. Like that. More. Big flipper strong, dude. I promise you, you're not going to hurt her. There. There. Good. Now put tension on the green one just in case and start lading out on your red. I'm going to walk over to the front and see if it did anything. <clears throat> well, obviously, these tires are all gone. This oil spills a lot worse than I thought. There, that's as straight as we're going to get it. I'm releasing all the tension, see what it does. Negative. Didn't work. It's not holding. We got to cut the seal. I hate doing this. I mean, you could 
see from here, I know the GoPro is distorted with the wide lens, but this is supposed to be flush with the tractor. You can see how offset it is. Ready? Hold on. Go for it, Hector. You're strong. Look at that. You can tell you used to be a boxer, huh? Dummy. Hey. Okay, before we open it, Cash will put some tension on the red one. No, he's good. Because I, I got it in the front. Okay. Right there. Just in case. Right. Go for it. That's your problem, buddy. That's your problem. You ain't doing. You ain't doing nothing with this. Hector, let's get this one open, yeah. please. Now that's what you call a shifted load. Oh my God. Hey, what is this? Aluminum? All the way to the back, they look like radiators. Look like old radiators. Yeah. Completely full. So that's why I, I thought Casher was holding me back with the with the catch, but no. This thing was just shifted. No, you're talking about counter leaning it. That might not work here because what that could do is just push it all here. That's not going to work, man. Let's put it on the Lando offset. Bro, where is this going to? Where is it going to? Uh, what, what do you mean? Like what part? Or what is it? Well, what, where's the destination? Where, where do you want to take this? Are we going to impound it, take it back to my yard and have insurance take care of it? Do you want it at a company yard? You know. We have a yard in Wilmington on Broad so Avenue. If you want, if you want, we can impound it there. Take it on my. We, we got to take this off and put it on the land all. We got to put it offset. This is this is gonna roll again. Once it's at my yard, from there, if you want to have an offload crew with forklifts, or if you want to uh, bring like a, a low deck trailer. I mean, you tell me what you want to do, and then I can tell you how we can help. Okay, well, I mean... What, what's your goal and I can tell you what we can do? So, I think I'm going to call the owner of the uh, of the load. Yes. And I'm going to tell them they, I mean, they didn't, they didn't put the load properly. No, that's suicide. I see this all the time. They, yeah. they, they didn't put any stoppers, any buffers. Or, there was nothing stopping this thing from going over on a turn. Nothing. I see this all the time and it always... You figure people by now would know how much crashes there are to, to secure your loads. That's dangerous on their part. I would chew them out. Um, Tell them you could have killed someone. You want us to take it to my yard until you guys figure it out? Because it's close. Okay, so you're going to take it to the yard and then there's a the I didn't get that. Yeah. That, that worked well. Let's see if we can do it some more. Go in with the red ever so. Actually, no. Go out with the green slowly now. Okay, a little, put some tension. There, now go up with the red. I mean, just, just feather, like that. Okay, you don't want it to slide, leave it there now. My turn. Let me see how much tension I'm putting on my cable. Oh, this is hard. It's either this, or take this off the chassis, get a land all over here. I'm trying to save a bit of time.
I'm shaking it and nothing. Yeah, that one is moving. See this one? Keep doing that, keep doing that. Think so? Yeah. Maybe you have a crowbar? Up there, Hector. Be, be careful it doesn't slide into the truck, okay? Because the door is open. Get the crowbar, Hector. See if it can move them over. Uh, that's dangerous. It's not going to work. One it's, at a it's time? Too, it's, it's too many rows. Too many rows? I need Joe here with the Lando. Hector, it's not going to work with the crowbar. Slowly go out with the red. Right there's good. It's heavy, dude. I'm gonna do it, Hector. I'm getting the land out here. All right. Screw this. Start hooking up. Hey, tell Joe to learn how to answer his phone. I need him here in the land all in 22, please. Hey, I'm just bringing the land all. This is suicide. We're never gonna do it. We're gonna offload this? No, we're gonna put this the whole container on the land all. Oh, okay. Sideways. Like offset. Oh, we're gonna flip it? No, not flip it. That'd be a good idea. But instead of putting the shirt on the land, all it's gonna do is lean it that way. Yeah, We're gonna kinda put it diagonal. On the side? To, to just distribute the weight. We tried, guys, you've seen it. We tried to shift it. We had a dangerously leaning. All uh, right, take care of that later. Didn't work. So now we gotta take the container off the chassis. You know, Catcher, you can go a little bit more in. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. I like how we're starting over the center, so if it does swing or whatever, it's, it's going to be on this side, not to the truck. Uh, let me make sure my cables are nice and tight. So go when you're ready go in with the boom and then up with the boom i want you dead center okay go up there now just put both tension equal tension on each line and then play with them to get the locks off we'll go uh you first at the rear Go on with both of them at the same time from here. Slowly. Good. Good. I'll help you out by going in with mine. Okay. I know it's heavy. You want to keep more tension on that one. No, 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 you're doing good. I beat the other one already, but the red one, I gotta go up on my boom. That's perfectly fine. No, 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 no. Go in with the red. I'm going in too, go in with the red. Look, I'm airborne. You gotta do the same. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Now go in with your cables. Keep going up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go. Hold on. Go up at the boom. Go up, 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 up. Okay, we're gonna swing this way. So let's go counterclockwise, ready? 
counterclockwise? Yes, go. Oops, clockwise. <laughs> oh no, that is counterclockwise. There, that's good. We're perfect here. That way it won't hit the back of the truck. All in a day's work. Hector's gonna pull out. Pull to the side. Flatbed backs up here and we finish containing the spill. You know what's funny in the beginning of the video I said this was gonna be a 15 minute job. I always jinx myself like that. I didn't think the load would be this bad shifted. So once this is out of the way, we do the cleanup. My Landau will back up underneath and we're gonna have to position them. I mean, ridiculously offset. Because if the Landau backs up the way it is, this is here, all the weights on this side, so it's gonna fall. You gotta put them diagonal. All right, Landau is here. Joe looking great in 22, our three axle Landau. This is the beauty of the Lando. When you have shifted loads like this, you can offset them. Are you ready, Castro? Yeah, what are we doing? Um, geez. Just go down with your, go in with the boom ever so slowly. Slow. Because it's under tension. More, Joe? Go in on the boat. No. Play with your cables now, Castro. Go in with both cables. Both of them. Yeah, I really won't pull no more. It has to. Alright, go go up with the boom. Slow though, because it's gonna want to swim. More. More. Now let out with the green cable. Right there, right there. Right there? Okay, both cables let out. Then I'll do the front. This stuff is very risky. But we're gonna get an escort all the way back to the shop. Look how much we're sticking out. But all the weight of the load is right here in the center of the Lando. You can't do that on the chassis. Right, let me just confirm that only one fell, so it won't affect the weight. Oh my God, these are heavy. Hey, no, just one of my lines when this was airborne and all even had 15,000 pounds. <laughs> oh yeah, see, it's just one. So we got the weight of the load in the center of the Lando. We're good. <laughs> hey, these are uh, radiators. No, it's a lot, of, a lot of money. Was a lot of money. Oh, you know what? It still is. Good. All right. I'm happy with this. Oh, with the cable. Textbook job. You did good? I'm happy, man. You did good, boss. You did good, boss? You did good. You did good, good. You get a nice $5 bonus when we get back to the shop. Oh, that feels good. Ugh, did my GoPro fell. You got a ladder, Castro? Huh? Let's use 88's ladder. Okay. Actually, no, we'll use mine. Okay. I'll jump up there. Jeez, I never get tired of this. Ever. We'll do my side first, just to show you the rigging. These are the new wide body shackles. You see the shape of them? Well, it's mainly for these. Better for the working load limit. Let me just take this off here. 
like this too because it's got a really nice a bigger nut than like the container links really easy to do with one hand instead of those little baby ones oh Hector he put this in the wrong one I like these in the the front one they come in and out much easier slings and straps a lot bad uh, all right see what I mean about the, the smaller nut on the container links uh, it's a lot more tiny and they're easy to fall I drop these all the time all the time I've lost more than I can count Flipper time. Castro, go in with the boom. Okay. Don't what? Nothing. <laughs> huh? Tell me what to do. Yeah, okay. Why don't you get an Uber back home? Okay. I'll just tow Big Flipper back to the shop. No, no, we'll tell you what to do. the process of putting everything away I'm gonna take care of that and then uh, I'll start the video to see uh, what it looks like driving this Lando out of here with an escort back to the shop I got a little boo-boo so I'm gonna turn on my shower So just wash both my hands now. Whoops. I got my shower kit, which is all nasty right now. Look how cool this is. Bam, soap. How many rotators, you know, have a full on shower in their truck? comes in handy on those super muddy calls when you're out there for like eight nine hours on a job to freshen up I love it all right let's go let's see Joe's hookup we got the front the back the sides it's good Joe I'm comfortable with this we're only going local streets you'll have me behind you and uh, I think PD is gonna escort us too Okay. So no one's gonna pass on the side. Yeah, we'll see what they want to do. I told the guy to figure it out if they want to send an offload crew, you know, or something. I'll follow you, Joe. Now we secured it great, but it's still a risk. I mean, that's not something that. Like, we're driving a long distance. <sighs> Let me get him on the two-way. I'll follow you, Joe, and then uh, Big Flipper will follow too. We'll kill each lane. Make sure all the lights are on. PTO's off. Great. Off we go. So I get the left side of the truck and then uh, Castro and Big Flipper will get the right side. You get people trying to cut you off and uh, we gotta protect. 
follow me, Castro. We're going to be side by side, block in the back. Let me just scoot right here so you can see. Look at all that space on the right side. blocking this and Castro's right behind me uh, I don't know if you can tell but like that container is hanging three feet off the side of the bed on the left in fact let's see if you can uh, you see all that gap on the right side and that's because all the weight of that container is on the right side of the container wall all of it so even though it looks like it's super crooked it's balanced very risky but we're getting off here the gap normally the container would be right here we didn't go far we had a nice escort Joe will take it nice and easy and slow Let's see how far it sticks out from here I'm gonna call the owner uh, hopefully right now he's decided if they're gonna I don't know bring some work to the auto crew they want us to deliver it keep it till insurance picks it up I don't know. We'll find out. For now, I'll stop the video. We might just back it into the yard and keep it until further notice. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Give you a quick shot of our Wilmington yard, though. I don't really get my yards in the videos. Easy access to all the ports. So we get all these container jobs. Great job, team. 30 minutes later, we made it. I'm gonna spot Joe right now to block the street so he can make this big right turn. Um, customer requested that we take it to the place where it was loaded. I'm gonna back it up into the loading dock and they're gonna fix the load. Joe's one of my best drivers, so he's got this. Pretty crazy driving on the freeway with this man. He's got some guts. It, like I, I said earlier, it looks crazy because of how offset it is. But you gotta figure, 100%, 95% of the entire weight of the container, the load, is all the way against the right side. So technically, all the load's in the center. That's the loading dock. I guess a company I didn't know was going to be coming in on the land all. The owner said that uh, the loading dock would be able to accommodate this, but they're saying no. But there's ways around that, even without dock levelers. What we're going to do is slide the axles forward a bit and then crib the bottom and slide the axles over the wood to give it that height. Looks like we didn't. Looks like we don't need the wood after all. Lucky for us. We're gonna push it over about one more foot to the our right.
better. Everybody got two rows. Two columns, I should say. Oh. All right, we're almost done. Let's see how much is left. A pallet? Nah. Yeah, they'll get that out in a couple of minutes. See, you know what they should do on these? If they're gonna run them down the middle now, put straps on them here and go over so they don't slide. Get out of here with your common sense, Joe. What do you mean? It's common sense? You Get out of here with your common sense. Right. Then we won't have no more work, so we, it's better not to have it. <laughs> Alright guys, let me show you the power of Hulk. What we're doing now, we got this container empty and the chassis showed up, the good one. So the company said, just do the container swap in the yard. We're going to put the empty container, now that it's all floated, onto the chassis. I had some issues backing up, but no problem. That's what Hulk's for. So I'm gonna lift this up as Joe Riggs up there. What's up, Joe? Hey. Oh man, Joe. Buddy, you're doing it wrong. You, those blue up. Those blue oblongs, you don't need them. So I'll show you, undo it. No, I know, I'm gonna put it right in. The, the strap end. goes in there. You see? Wasn't I talking about dropping those nuts earlier in the video? Look what just happened. It's a lot more tiny and they're easy to fly. I drop these all the time, all the time. I've lost more than I can count. I see it. Bam, look at that. That's why I like the new shackles because they have a really big nut. They're easier to handle. I called it. Exactly like that. Perfect, Joe. Do that on each four, please. Leave those up there because I'm gonna have to jump up there to undo the rigging. You ready? Ready. All right. Watch out, Joe. Let me make sure my boom is center. Center over the center of the container, which would be. there perfect now to jump up here so I can make sure that I'm fully extended out over all right Joe you ready, ready. let me tighten up on my cables I'm gonna tighten up on, on this one first so it doesn't slide back into the land hole.
right, Joe, you see that chain already in the corner? Let's use that to flip it. impossible status I'm gonna miss doing that when I'm old okay mr. precision let's see how good you are Josh Come on, Joe, you're supposed to be watching me. it's the back ones that I'm worried about. Once I get the back, the whole thing falls into place. I'm almost here. Sucker. Right there. Hold it, Joe. Okay, I got the back. You're good, you're good. Take a little bit of finessing. But when you're working in a tight environment, you don't got all the room in the world. You gotta make do. You make Big Flipper proud, Hulk. And make sure the locks are good, then I'm putting my outriggers away. Now we need the ladder. All right, I hope all that came out cool. What a long day this was. Satisfied customer, satisfied everybody. Did a good job, so see y'all folks on the next one. Peace.